very good evening to all our viewers joining us tonight on the evening review. Thank you for making time. My name is Toi Bonjabella, your host. Tonight on the show we are joined by musician uh, Mangebe. Uh, his uh, formal name, of course, is Pandu Vaino, but uh, we didn't know that until today. And uh, how we got to know really is that uh, he graduated and we thought it's a very uh, important step in his life, uh, in the life of a typical Namibian musician. So thank you, Mangebe, for making time. Uh, how is everything? Uh, everything is okay. Yeah, yeah. How are you, Mr. No, Toibo? No, no, very good. Thank you. Thank you for making time, really. Yeah. Um, I mean, look, I just saw on Twitter this week, you know, mm -hmm. that uh, cap on top of your, <laughs> of yeah. your head and, uh, and that thing where they, you know, the degree or, yeah, or qualification. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it caught everybody by surprise. We didn't even know that you were in school. Um, mm. um, tell us about, about that, actually, your graduation and what you studied and stuff. Yeah, actually, I studied uh, in uh, lower primary. Okay. Yeah. Junior, pre, and primary. So I'll be teaching the small ones, you know. And it's, it's nice to teach the young ones because, yeah, they are the ones that I'm inspiring and, yeah, yeah they are yeah. looking up on me and, you know, all that. Okay. And they are easy to work with, not like other big guys, like maybe you are teaching grade 12. Yeah. And then there's this one, the, 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 the one you are teach, teaching someone that is maybe 30 years older than you. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. And there's, yeah, the big people are just also, also uh, difficult to, to work with. So yeah, yeah. I, just, I chose the small ones, the young ones, no. Wonderful. Yeah. So that, 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 that is a, a teaching qualification. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, obtained from the International University of uh, Management, IUM. Yeah. Uh, for how long have you been studying there? I've did you did you start did you finish your, your qualification in in the allocated time or did yeah, you Yeah, in the allocated I don't even fail one year. Serious, no? Yeah, I'm a serious guy. When it comes to school I have to let me say sometimes I have a show like in the north or traveling, yeah. I, I will be there doing my assignments. I remember some some this other day, uh, I was having a quiz that is uh, that is that, that was ending. Yeah. It was only for one hour, and within that hour, uh, when I heard about the quiz, I was just about to step on stage. Mm -hmm. So I was like, ah, let me just finish this quiz quickly, 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 and then jump on stage. So yeah. Yeah, wonderful. Mm -hmm. Um. Um. Background wise, where, where did you do your your schooling prior to university? Uh, actually, I schooled uh, at many places. Mm. Uh, I studied my kindergarten and grade until grade four in Korihas. I went to the village, deep in the village. I think from grade five to grade seven. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at Hallelujah Primary School, and then I moved to Oshirungi still in uh, the village okay. and then Ngoi combined school from there my secondary school i went to <coughs> ochikoto senior secondary school in sumi so that's where i now uh yeah that's how i until now i came to actually after 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 ochikoto because mm. uh, i was having i think uh, i was I, 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 I was i having 20 24 points i think mm. i was only missing with one point to make it twenty-five in five. Yeah. yeah. So I had to 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 make NAM call okay. for two years. Yeah. After that NAM call for two years, then I applied in in in, in IUM. Yeah. And then I schooled there. I did not fail any year until now, and I'm still continuing by the way study. Wonderful. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The. Um, I mean, did you always have that determination? Because I mean, if you even went to Namco to complete, to get th that missing point. Yeah, actually, uh, people that are in my circle, like elders, like I'm, I'm that person that from from uh, people uh, that studied. Mm. You know, like I'm always with Job and Panda from home, or Malala, obviously. Mm. And uh, you know, though you have to study, yeah, to, to, to be in good books and yeah. And I have an uncle, I have all my uncles and everything. They just want you to at least like, you have to to study yeah yeah do, do, do you have uh, do you, your parents are they still alive yeah they are still alive yeah. uh, have what, what kind of role have they played in your life uh, especially your schooling life actually i'm a man so i don't expect my parents to be always pushing me to go to school or pay you pay for what what no yeah yeah 
I think the last time I even got money for school is when I t I completed grade twelve. That was twenty seventeen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's when. Yeah, kucha. Ah, no, now it's your. You are a big man now. Yeah. You, you have to zula for your call money. You have to zula for, for for jive money to go to school. You, yeah. have to, you know, just on your own. And, and then how did you do that? Is it uh, through, through music? music? Yeah, through music. I have a talent. Yeah, yeah. yeah I have a talent. So, uh, actually, the person that really inspired me to 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 go on with my school is my uncle. He's called uh, Julius. Yeah, that guy is a motivation to me. Mm -hmm. he, yeah, I, I, I take him as my mentor. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I remember I was in grade ten. I think by that time he he he, he got his degree. Mm -hmm. I was like, I think I I sent him a text that I just wanna be like you. Yeah, yeah. And I won't stop until I get that qualification that you have. Yeah. Wonderful. He's, he's, he keeps me going. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A at what stage of your schooling did you start doing music? Uh, I started actually I in the, in this entertainment industry yeah. I started uh, with dancing okay that was too way back long time I think I even started dancing while I was in grade grade one I think mm -hmm. that's where I, I, I learned how to break dance <laughs> and everything you can learn this b breaking things of bones while you are grown up because the bones are already old yeah so I started long and then yeah. I started singing Singing, I started off. Uh, I think it was in 2018, somewhere there. That is That's after grade uh, 12, or is it? Big? Yeah, uh, no, 2017. While I'm in, in grade 12, uh -huh, uh -huh. yeah, that's when I started singing, recording with this other boy called Gabby. Okay, he's in the north. Well, w w that was now also happening in the north. The, the yeah, recording, the recording yeah, and yeah, everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. How how did you? keep your, your your yourself grounded in in that sense because um the the kind of music that you do it's uh, it's vuma quite <laughs> yeah, <it's laughs> exactly. yeah exactly so yeah. what i say what i said in my twitter so that i shared with you because mm. i said that um because I, I i schooled at gabriel tapopi um okay. 2001 2002 and that was at the height of Kwaito. Uh, the Namibian Kwaito was picking up. In South Africa, Kwaito was like hardcore, hardcore, brown dash, mm. all those Mendoza. guys. Mendoza. Mm. All these guys. And because Panzula is a, is, a, is, a, is a very street and very ghetto kind of music, if you like, mm. uh, it, the, the impression that it gives out is like, you know, it's ghetto life. Yeah. School is not important. How, how did you manage to really make sure that uh, you stay positive? You know, one thing I can tell you is that mm, in, 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 in the hustle, there's no a degree or there's no a qualification in yeah. music. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. And at least in life, you have to, you have, to have a backup. Mm -hmm. You have to at least go to school in case. I can say, let me, let me just give you an example of an, a, a pandemic that just came today. Mm. And it's gonna force everyone to 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 not go out of the house. Maybe like okay, uh, people are only allowed to go out of the house until five o'clock or maybe three o'clock, you know. But uh, you know, you can at least go to you can uh, apply for something, mm. you know, for that can give you money for you to make a living. Yeah. If now people are saying only five o'clock, you guys must be home, and you expect a person, a, an artist, to go make a show, yeah. an event that is going to start around 8 o'clock until 6 in the morning, mm. you are not going to eat anything. Yeah. So at least you must have a backup in life. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, one thing I can say is that there is no a qualification in, uh, in, in the hustle. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you have to make uh, different ways, different, you must look for opportunities. You, know? yeah, yeah. you must at least go to school. Doesn't mean when you are making music, you must quit school. Now you you school is just will be there you go from uh, mu music you, you like maybe a shows so you attend from eight o'clock in the night mm. but then you during the day you go to school go yeah. do your assignments and everything yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. 
it's hard also to go to school sometimes because uh, everyone will be looking at you. Oh, my neighbor is going to school, my neighbor, you know. Mm -hmm. Or maybe you are just not in the mood that day. You pass by people, they are calling you and, you know. Mm -hmm. But then you must just keep it, keep keep going. Don't really listen to what they are saying. But, uh, just go. Focus. You know it's your life, right? Yeah. Because if you focus on what they are saying, it's going to affect you. Absolutely. Yeah, that's, that's the, now they have control over your life. Mm -hmm. You do you don't you are not you are no more in charge of your life anymore. Yeah. It's them ch controlling your life. Mm -hmm. Which are, okay, now they are saying, ah, that guy is doing this. I see him every day, school. What was ah, that one? He must be like that, or mm -hmm. he's not an artist or something. Yeah, yeah. And then you try to quit school, and then how about in five years time to come? Yeah, yeah. where are you gonna be? Absolutely, you are gonna blame yourself with that. Supposed to go to do this and do this. Yeah, because yeah. you, you must have something, a backup. Absolutely. Yeah. No, no, because um, I'm also asking that question because um, a mm -hmm. lot of, um, even when I went to university myself, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of musicians who are big stars today, mm -hmm. uh, a, a lot of them actually quit school. Um, mm -hmm. And some of them, I don't know, it seems like they are not keeping up with the changes in music. Mm -hmm. uh, and it, it has become very difficult for them to really continue to to be as big stars as they used to be mm -hmm. um what was your experience at university uh, did you enjoy university did you enjoy being at university uh yeah i do and i still do enjoy being there because you learn you learn new things every day yeah yeah when you are there in class you learn new things that's what you are going to ap apply in in real life music yeah in mm. real life and you know mm. it mm. just give you it opens your mind yeah, yeah you see yeah i just don't enjoy the stay of my stay at school because um there are some annoying moments whereby you just like me at school i don't even have friends at campus i just go there do my thing maybe yeah. i have only three people that i work with yeah maybe on assignments and you know i just go do there because i, I go there do my thing and then go home yeah. What, 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 what was annoying? Is it because um, you are this music star and when you are working on campus, everybody is, is uh, you know when you are, when greeting you, are, you when and wanting a piece of you? When you are famous, uh, or let me say, when some people know you, uh, yeah, when you are famous, ex they expect you to be perfect. Yeah. They mm -hmm. don't expect you to come to school. They don't expect you to come to school with uh, a taxi. Mm -hmm. They expect you maybe if you are coming to school, you have something maybe your your rich father or you have a nice car that is coming and then you know. mm -hmm. so that's the most annoying person. I remember one day I was walking Mokan Lamba because mm -hmm. my house at uh, that time we bo 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 shike o kapitango Mokan Lamba ro because stop and shop and I was going to to to, to get something from stop and shop and then go to school. Yeah, I met a girl. Yeah. Oh, even my neighbor is. Walking, yeah, like his footing. <laughs> I was like, Whoa, why, why is he not in the car? I was like, Hello, sister, yeah, why are you asking me that? No. Exciting episode of your own job. If you go to the east, we are in the first place. First, you want to come back. tell me about um, your family mm. life you know um, of course you said after grade 12 mm. they sort of said you are now big uh, big boy now go and uh, find yourself in the world mm. but prior to that you know what kind of um, bringing up did you have ah no there I just started uh, you know making hits yeah I make kids People, they like my music, they book me, I could perform, they pay me. That's yeah. how I uh, keep on surviving. Yeah. And uh, by also releasing uh, music, I mean, music videos and and what, uh, putting them on all social media platforms, yeah. it also pays. Mm -hmm. And also by uh, releasing a CD, an album, and sell to people, 
that's how you get money yeah yeah, yeah to, to 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 keep life going yeah, yeah. but yeah. but but your your upbringing as a child uh, what what kind of environment was it did you have strict parents did you have liberal parents because what, what i'm asking is also because mm. even in the Ovambo culture mm. If you start contemplating doing music mm. and then your parents pick it up, sometimes they even say, no, 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 you must focus on real things. Music is nothing. Mm. What, what, can, what was your, your, your parents' attitude? Actually, my dad didn't have a problem with it. Yeah. Uh, but other people, yeah, here and there, they, 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 they think maybe I even smoke, mm. but then uh, I don't do those things. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, I don't think they, they, they really had uh, problems with me because I'm that uh, one person that, uh, I don't know, uh, they don't sound mm. Yeah, so you, you, you can even say, which I know, stop doing that. I won't stop because I, I know I love it. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, why, why would I stop? I'm not doing it for you. Because it's Absolutely. me that sees the vision of it. Absolutely. You know? Are you the eldest kid of your parents? Yeah, I'm the first born to my dad and last born to my mom. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Um, the, so what, what is the, what, what, how do you see life going, going forward? Are you, are you going to try and balance? Because obviously, I mean, it would be very nice if you start teaching a lot of kids. Mm. My teacher is my maybe that, that will sound very nice also for kids. So yeah. will you teach and do music or do, what is the vision here? Yeah, definitely. Okay. I, I will teach and do music at the same time. There's no yeah. problem because I teach, uh, you can only teach from 8 o'clock until 1 o'clock. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then music, you can do it even in weekends, yeah, you yeah. know, and everything. So yeah, the problem is just uh, also the, 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 what, uh, the post for 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 education in Namibia, yeah. jobs are there, but you know it's uh, now the the graduates are a lot. Mm -hmm. They are they are now. Imagine you are going to to an to an interview, uh, a job interview, but you guys are like 500, mm -hmm. 700 just for one post. Mm -hmm. So it's very hard yeah, yeah. for you to to make it. Uh, let me say, okay, out of that seven hundred people, there are already fifty people that got hundred percent. Yeah out of that uh, examination, whatever interview. Mm. Only already four, four, 50 people that got 100, 100%. Mm. And th that makes it how much? 440, right? Mm. And then maybe the other 80s and 90s, they are again 50. Mm. And imagine they are still just looking for one person. Yeah. So me, I'm not an A learner. Yeah. Maybe I'm there by 70 something because I already, I also studied and uh, yeah, mm -hmm. maybe 70 or 80. Yeah. And imagine out of that, people are only, they only want uh, best learners, right? Mm. Best uh, Candidates. I mean, teachers. Mm. So, uh, obviously, they're just going to take 10 people out of that 50 people. Yeah. And then from that 10 again, the only one person. But what? you're famous. You're famous. People will just give you things most. Ah, you know. <laughs> but then if, if, they, if they give you a job because you are famous that's that's corruption i also yeah. want like that i yeah. want to, you know Merit. i want to yeah in order and i don't want to be insulted in the past i uh, mean the, the in 10 years to come which are, hey, you you must be able even give you a mm. job man because mm, mm. i also have that pride which ah no 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 let's yeah. just be in order and uh, yeah. yeah i don't think it's uh, yeah order is something that is very nice and to yeah. keep you uh for yeah I agree. Yeah. The, um, let's talk a little bit about music then. Um, how is it? Um, you make these hit songs. Yeah. Um, you really produce quality music and people seem to love your work a lot. Yeah. Um, y y is it something that you can survive on in the meantime? What can, what can, what can, actually, what, what can you do with music uh, in terms of living providing Some, for yourself yeah sometimes when you're doing music you don't really uh, mind about the living you just sometimes it's just something that you enjoy mm. but mm. just maybe in the vibe of the studio you go in the studio you record something it's a hit mm. yeah so but when it comes a hit you obviously you have to eat because people will love it and they would love you love to see you on stage yeah, yeah. you see so yeah that's how it is yeah absolutely mm. um 
how, how do you see the m music industry uh, because can actually can can music okay passion is one thing that you mm. mentioned that you, you just love it mm. uh, and of course i think somebody who is in that space have to love yeah. doing that in yeah. order to give there has to be passion for you mm. to give us hit songs and whatnot yeah you yeah but are we going to see soon the music industry as a proper job provider that that we are we are we yet at that stage where you can say I can just do music and still live a life. Yeah, the problem is also our population is yeah, yeah. small. You can you can, it's very small. You can do music in Namibia. Yeah, it will imagine if I was maybe in I'm not saying I'm not proud of my country. Yeah. But imagine if I was maybe in Nigeria is my maybe mm. or in South Africa. Mm. I could already be a millionaire by now. Yeah. Because the, the population is a lot and you you, you you just one single can make you a millionaire already. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. maybe five shows mm, mm, mm. can already give you a lot of money. So it's it's not really uh, really easy in Namibia to 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 make it uh, because it's it's very hard. Yeah, Even yeah. the big guys, they it's they 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 they, they, they don't only uh, depend on music. Yeah. Like the likes of 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 King T D. Mm -hmm. they, they, those guys are business guys. Yeah, yeah they they they, they all don't only depend in music. They have business here and they you know uh, maybe investments and what what. That's why they uh, uh, guys like T D. They are just you know they are just okay mm -hmm. in life. Mm -hmm. Or let me say, but some they are just okay. They are just uh, going mm -hmm. with their life. You know. Absolutely. Yeah. You 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 can't really find. Uh, you know, him struggling or mm. what? Mm. Yeah, but it doesn't depend on music. Those guys have businesses like printing shops, what, 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 what is mm. there is in uh, what circumstations and what? That's that's not music. <laughs> that's that's business. <laughs> that's business. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's true. So now you yeah. must, you must, mm. you must be, you must be really uh, hardworking. Yeah. Yeah. If you really wanna be a musician full time, you must be hardworking and. Uh, you must look for opportunities. Yeah, yeah. yeah don't just uh, wait. This, um, you can make a hit. People love it, but you don't have a phone. Yeah. Where people can contact you. You don't have an, an email. You don't have um, a quotation. You can't even say a quotation. You, you just you are just there. Mm -hmm. You see, it? you must be serious with your with what you are doing yeah. if you really want to to go far and also make try to make uh, collaborations locally and internationally yeah, yeah. that's how you yeah that's that's look for opportunities don't 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 be home relax and everything you yeah. must look for opportunities yeah is that the kind of message that you also give to upcoming artists because you see the reason why i'm asking is because um mm -hmm. when i grew up in the, um, the ghettos i suppose yeah. um we had every second kid mm. that you bumped into wanted to do music and they seem to have just, um, they were just obsessed and they have these wrong impressions. They think if they get into music and they drop, drop out of school and what, what, what. I have people who have dropped out of university, mm. some of them very close to me, to pursue music. Mm. And today they are really, really struggling. Mm. Uh, is that the kind of message that you give them to say, look, keep your options open and not only rely on one thing? I my bro, don't don't if you are in school and yeah. you are smart or you you know that you can do it in school, don't yeah. leave school. Yeah. Just just keep doing what you love, and have also time for your school. You Absolutely. know because yeah. times are changing. Yeah, yeah. You know this 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 music I mean music thing uh, might not be or you might also not be that good enough mm, mm, mm. for people to love you. Absolutely. Yeah. So it's not really easy. So, but then school, you can at least if you if you go to school and graduate, or uh, at least you have a certain certificate or yeah. diploma, a degree. People can take you. Which, ah, I know. I think this guy can do as mm. our secretary or something. Mm. But then if you don't have anything, who's gonna take you? Absolutely. You see? Yeah. yeah sometimes and sometimes you can you can do music, but then you won't reach to that level of being. My maybe or being King T D were just there doing music for more than twenty years. Yeah, so yeah. it's it's nice to 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 focus on your school. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Amen. 
I appreciate your time, man. No, thank you. Congratulations, really. We, we are happy for you. We are inspired, and we hope that uh, what you have done really will inspire a lot of people. Thank you so much. Yeah, wonderful. Mm -hmm. That is uh, Mangabe, a musician who just graduated. He is uh, going to be a school teacher very, very soon, and uh, we will invite him to the platform again to understand how the teaching is going. Thank you for watching.